Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Art History Brush Tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Art History Brush Tool paint with a stylized strokes using the source data from a specified history state or a snapshot. By experimenting with a different paint style, size and tolerance options, you can simulate the texture of painting with a different colors and artistic styles. The Art History Brush Tool is located here in a toolbar next to the History Brush Tool. By pressing shortcut Y, you can activate this both tool. If you are pressing Y, by default it will select the History Brush Tool. If you want to select this Art History Brush Tool, you again need to press Shift plus Y to select the Art History Brush Tool. So friends, like the History Brush Tool, the Art History Brush Tool uses a specified history state or a snapshot as the source data. The History Brush Tool, however, paint by a recreating the specified source data while the Art History Brush Tool use that data along with the option you set to create different colors and artistic style. So friends, first we are going to use Art History Brush Tool on this flower. Okay. So first of all, I am creating a new layer. As you can see, once I creating a new layer in history, the new layer is created. Now I am applying the Art History Brush Tool on this flower. See, as you can see, the creative way of this Art History Brush Tool make this flower more creative. So as I told you before, the Art History Brush Tool paint with the stylized stroke using the source data from a specified history state or a snapshot. So as you can see, it will using the same color for the flower. If I am using the art history brush tool over here, then it will take a yellow color. As you can see, if I'm paint over here, it will take this color. If I'm paint over here, it is taking this color. So like this, you can use the art history brush tool in a different way. Okay. So this is our first example where I'm using the art history brush tool. Okay, now we are going to use all these options with the different examples. So friends, our next example where we are going to use the art history brush tool and show some examples. Fine. So first of all, I am selecting this brush tool. Okay, making the mode to you because I want this part black and white and this part should be coloring so that I can show you some options. Fine. So I'm just uh, paint over this eye. Fine. Okay. Now what I'm doing, I'm using the art history brush tool. Okay. Now I'm just paint over this eye. So as you can see, our art history brush tool is working fine on this eye, which is a colored eye. Now, once I'm selecting this eye, so instead of getting the black and white color, it is also take the colored because our source example will be the main, this one. Okay, that's why it will taking the colored background from the source area. Okay, so make sure you are selecting the same color, same layers while you are using the art history brush tool. So you need to set the source for the history so that you can use this. For example, I am selecting this just uh, Deleting this part, deleting this history. Okay, now I'm setting this and once I'm selecting this, as you can see, now it is selecting a black and white color source. What I'm painting with the brush tool. So this is a second example. Now we are go to the next example. In the next example, we are going to learn the area. Okay, so first of all, I'm selecting a art history brush tool okay so now we are going to learn with this area so for area enter a value to specify the area covered by the paint strokes the greater the size the larger the covered area and the more numerous the strokes so first of all i am making the area to zero pixel okay now once i am start painting over here you see nothing because our area will be zero now I'm making 200 and as you can see, it will be creating this area. Okay. For more detailed view, I'm just increase the brush size. Okay. So I'm just selecting here and as you can see, it will cover this area. Fine. Now I am increase the size to 200 pixel 
and now we am selecting this yellow part as you can see it will be covered this much area okay now i'm selecting the maximum pixel which is 500 and now if i'm selecting here as you can see it will cover this much area so friends the greater the size the larger the covered area and the more numerous the strokes so this is the use of the area now we are go to the next example to learn this tolerance okay so painting tolerance we go for the fourth example where we are going to use the tolerance so friends on this image we are going to learn the tolerance using the art history brush tool so for the tolerance enter a value to limit the region where a paint stroke can be applied a low tolerance lets you paint unlimited strokes anywhere in the image a high tolerance limit paint strokes to the area that differ considerably from the color in the source state or snapshot okay so what i am doing i am just selecting this to the maximum 50 percent okay now if i am start painting over here as you can see it will be paint like this okay now i am just pressing ctrl z and now i am decreasing the tolerance to the zero okay and if i'm start painting this as you can see it will paint so smoothly okay because now our tolerance is zero you can increase and decrease the brush size to make a more specific result like this i am just decrease the size okay for see the result just create a new layer and now i'm start painting on the eye okay now as you can see the result okay this is the original this is using the art history brush tool using the tolerance zero percent okay if i'm making the tolerance hundred percent now as you can see it will be a spreading everywhere okay so friends this is all about the art history brush tool in adobe photoshop so for the summarize i will just tell you once again the art history brush tool paint with the stylized strokes using the source data from a specified history state or a snapshot by experimenting with a different paint style size and the tolerance options you can simulate the texture or painting with a different color and artistic style for c for example you can see here this is the original image this is a image using the different style this is an image using the different style okay so friends if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to tutorials point and also press the bell icon for the notification thank you so much guys see you in the next video